how to create a Commvault user. You might have a couple of different entities, people, humans that need to log in to Commvault. They need to check something. They maybe they're their end user, maybe they're your customer, maybe they're the finance department, maybe they're marketing department, whatever, and they want to check backups or whatever, whatever it is. In order to do that, I'm going to show you how to create an account for the user and give them, you know, different permissions. In this case, we're going to give this person the elevated permissions, and then we're going to scale it back a little bit. So we're at the command, Commvault Command Center. We're going to click on Manage, get everything configured. Really? You're going to click on Security. Then you're going to click on Users. I want to click on a user. I want to add a user. So in this case, I'm going to add a user. This is a local user, mind you, right? So the name is John Kumar. And then I'm going to put the user's username is probably going to be John Kumar All. So the capital J, capital K. And then we're going to give this person email. John Kumar at get a job in local, get a job in tech.local. If we had a different email, we'd put it in here. This is. We're going to give, uh, we can either generate the password or we're going to give them one. Give them a password, actually. This one. Click next or save. So now we see them as a user in our Commvault as a local local user. Let me show you on what it looks like on the Java console as well. I'm going to click on the Java console. On Commvault users, click on View Refresh. So we see the user now, John. Let's go in Active Directory and actually add them in Active Directory, and then we're going to give them a, a username in Commvault uh, as an Active Directory user. So I'm going through Active Directory, so I'm going to click on the Windows Administrative Tools, click on Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to give this person a domain admin. I'm going to scale back the permissions, of course, afterwards. But right now, I'm just going to give it the full permissions so we can play with it a little bit. So from here, we just go right click on users. We're going to go to new, followed by user in this case. And our username is going to be, going to be John Kumar. All together there. Put that in there. That's an M, not a W. Apologize for Mr. Kumar if your name I and click next. We're gonna make this user part of the domain admin. And password put them in the domain administrator make sure that the password never expires we're going to change John to email we're going to change John's permission to be a domain admin just for this purpose. Normally you wouldn't because it's a lab environment. We're going to change John's permissions, give him the access to a domain admin. Click on properties, then you click on member of. We're going to give him a domain admin so that he. So we start off when the testing environment, a lab environment, Give every missions and then slowly but surely. So we're going to give him domain permission, domain admin permission. Click on here, type in select domain admin. Why? Okay, so John has domain privileges now. 
domain admin privilege. Now back at our Commvault, Com, Commvault command center, we're going to add John Kumar to our Active Directory unit. Click on Manage, followed by Security, Find Security. We're going to click on Roles. Excuse me. We're going to click on Identity Servers. Then we're going to select our users. Select the users. So under Users. We're going to click on add user. Add John Kumar. John Kumar. John Kumar's email. And put John in the master group. Click save. So we click on manage, then security, then identity servers, find our domain. We see under user, we see John is listed. So we're logged into our server as a domain admin as John Kumar. So we're going to go and we're going to select start Commvault, Commvault command center console. And we're going to do a single sign on. So what's going to happen here is John's credentials are going to authenticate as a single sign on and allow him to log in to the We can see under security, Under Comcell users, show John. Conversely, we log into our end center. Log into our command center. We put the credentials in as a single sign on. You'll notice we're logging in now as a single sign on. Click on login, no password needed. There you have it. Logged in as a single sign on on both the Java console and the Commvault. Commander.